What's going on, Big Foodie fans, Big Foodie fam? It's Friday, which means it's Big Foodie time. Matt, Biggie, BB Shea, presented by Marie Sharp's Hot Sauce. I've been, I've been yet all hot sauce. Habanero. That was even better that's, than me. That's better. That's pretty good. Coming well, thank out you. From the Marco's Pizza, Biggie's Kitchen Studio here. And uh, this one's a special one, boys. This one is. This is. This one's Marie Sharp's hot sauce. Ooh. Habanero. Habanero. Sauce. So uh, <laughs> what we're going to do, this is not all of the selection of Marie Sharp's. This no. is just some of them. There are about half of them here. If you're interested in trying some of the Marie Sharp's, they're great sauces. I tried not to try a bunch of them because I want my initial response exactly. to be here. That's what, it's yeah. hard too because I love hot sauce. Yeah. yeah. So there's been times now where I'm like, oh, I want to put, I'm like, oh, I want to wait till we try yeah. that one. Yeah. So if you're After interested. After this, now I'm all hyped. <laughs> if you're interested in trying some of these, check out uh, the link under our video. You can also go to their website uh, and enter the code FOODIES10 at checkout. Become a pepperhead. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do. Trust uh, me. With go Marie check Sharp. it out. And we'll get into that while we're trying the uh, mm. while we're trying the stuff here. But, but before we really get into the heat stuff, I want to remind you guys that if you need to cool off, there's no better way to cool off. A little bit of ice cream. If you're looking for ice cream, you want to check out the Berry Patch. I love some fresh. That's ice right. Cream. World's largest strawberry, and it's fresh homemade ice cream. Nothing better than that, man. Mm -hmm. Homemade oh, ice man. cream, peach, strawberry, mm -hmm. vanilla. You know what? Take yourself a bottle of Marie Sharp's. Have some hot sauce. Get some ice cream. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Maybe put some hot sauce on some ice cream. Oh, there we go. Ooh, mm. that's now that's something. <laughs> now that's something. That's something, man. <laughs> How does that? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Keep going. If you show up at the world's largest <laughs> strawberry at the Berry Patch with a bottle of Marie Sharps, they're gonna know who sent you. Yeah, it's exactly. gonna be the big boost. Exactly. Check them out on Facebook. They still make their ice cream the old-fashioned way. Um, they've got banana, strawberry, peach, Oreo, you name it, they've got it. Uh, WorldLargestStrawberry.com. So Perfect. let's uh, get into the heat here. The first yeah, one we're going to try is called the Sweet Dipping Sauce. Mm. So it's got a sweet habanero pepper sauce. So okay. I'm gonna... It's got an interesting color there. That's what I was like thinking. Really it's, it's Yeah. Ooh. Pour some of that. Oh, look at that going in. Look at that. Okay. Nice. Uh... Now, nice thick sauce. There. It comes out almost cool. like a molasses or a honey. That's there. good looking. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, so our, our delivery device is always fries. Basic fry. fry. I'm basic gonna fry. I'm gonna hit you guys with some of the uh, stuff that's in this one. The sweet dipping. I'm gonna try. Uh, fresh red habanero. All of Marie Sharp's sauces made with habanero peppers. Um, habanero pieces, onions, garlic, cilantro, sugar, vinegar, lime juice, and pectin are Man, all involved that's in good. this sauce. Oh wow. That's really good. Wait till you try that. Let me see here. Oh, sweet with the heat. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm. Get the heat on the end, but man. And it's really good. That's a good flavor. That's a really good flavor. That's a great flavor. Man, that'd be good on some chicken. All natural. Ooh. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. well, Marinate some chicken in that? that. I'm catching something. All right, so you've got red habanero pieces, onions, garlic, cilantro, a little bit of sugar, vinegar, lime juice, and pectin. I think I'm picking up on that pectin. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. How say. could you not be I'm getting that pectin? All right, so Very let's go. Sauce. Let's go for the next one Very here. Sauce. The next one. Oh, it's the grapefruit pulp. So we're looking at like the Scoville scale yeah. here, or basically like you know where they rank of the 20 sauces that Marie Sharp has. The sweet sauce was number 17. Grapefruit pulp is number fifteen. Okay, so this is the fifteenth. A little sauce bit, little bit, have. little bit spicier, but not. So their scale goes: number one is the hottest, and then number twenty would be the least hot. Yes. yes. So this is these are on the bottom of the yeah, scale. Yeah. Right now we're we're warming up. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting to the top. Now this one's got different. more of like a, this. Uh, definitely has the pulp thicker. Like yeah. A, yeah. Because yeah. the pulp, I think it's trying to prevent as much pulp from pouring Probably in. Probably so. Yeah. So that's why it's like, how much is in there. Uh, Let me take the not little, much at all. Let's let take, take the, the rubber yeah. protector off here. Just let there you the go. pulp flow. There you go. Let it. There we go. That's hey. better. Okay. The, I think that's there to limit the you know the pulp. The amount of pulp. Is that the actual name for that? The rubber protector. Yeah. Like now that. I'll tell you this. It has a uh, little, a, little bit of spicier <laughs> smell. <laughs> you didn't know. So all right, let me find the we find the ingredients wow. list here. That kicks you, man. Smells really good, man. That is good. I'll be honest. I was a little iffy on the pulp, but let me tell you. All right, grapefruit pulp. 
grapefruit pulp. Look at bear. That is good. Select yellow habanero pepper, vinegar, onion, salt, lime juice, and garlic in this one. That's a... Uh, that is good. It's hot, boy. That's hot, but that's... God, you're screwed. I am. Wow, that's hot. That's good, though. Man, that would be good on some wings. That's a thicker sauce would be great on some wings. That is good. And I'll tell you, Marie Sharp, too, uh, the products are delicious, affordable, and 100% keto, vegan, and gluten-free. Oh, cool. So I don't yeah. care what kind of diet you're on, Marie Sharp's is for you. It's world-famous recipes straight out of Belize. Belize. Miss Sharp is still there making all these sauces mm -hmm. Wonderful lady. in Belize. Hand-harvested, sustainably farmed, whole fruit and vegetables, certified, pesticide-free, and used to make these sauces within hours of the pickings. So I was That's informed good. that Marie Sharp was... Uh, of these here. What do we got here? These? Is that the orange pulp? Yeah, our next one is the orange pulp. Orange pulp ranks at number 13 out of her sauces. Uh, Marie Sharp was responsible for bringing the habanero to America back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's what I was informed mm -hmm. of, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Man. And uh, about the Marie Sharp sauces, too, uh, you don't just have to get sauces if you're looking for something from Marie Sharp's. They also have jams and jellies and merchandise. Their website has a full-scale blog of different recipes of different things you can use this in, so it's exciting. I really want to try some of their jams and stuff I saw. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, tell us about this one. All right, so this pulp. is the this is the orange pulp. Yeah. Orange pulp select yellow habanero pepper, vinegar, onion, salt, lime juice, and garlic. So the same kind of ingredients as the grapefruit pulp. Um, and honestly, they've got like a sliding heat scale. It's pretty close heat wise to what the it grapefruit is pretty pulp close. Yeah. In. Good. Gosh, I'll tell you, I was really. I'm never sure when I see something about any type of fruit or something being added in. Yeah. But let me tell you. Those two sauces knock it out. I'm a huge orange fan, and that was mm -hmm. that's great. What what um, that would go really good in like some orange chicken. Ooh, yeah, and some fried rice or something. I'd love to put this just on some chicken, which and I'm gonna do. I one thing I hate about hot sauce is when it's hot just to be hot. Yes, yeah. see, but this has flavor. Give me the flavor. That please. has amazing flavor to Give it. Give me the flavor. All right, you want to pour this? Is that the mild? This is the mild. Okay. okay. The mild habanero pepper. This is number 11, so right middle of the pack heat-wise for her. <laughs> BB Shay. You okay? Yes, we'll, we'll, yeah, we're going to be great. <laughs> we'll be great. But we'll this, be great. Yeah. See, but it's hot, but it's flavorful. That's the big thing. And oh. if you're looking to get a little bit more you know, in-depth with the Marie Sharp stuff, you can become a member, um, become a, um, a pepperhead, pepperhead, become a member, earn points, exclusive rewards when you go to their website, order their sauces off their website. Because right now, locally, that's where you got to get them. You got to get them off their website. Okay. I'll tell you, I am truly blown away at the flavor here by these sauces. Mmm. What's the, a, so what's in the, the straight mild. up? What's in the yeah. straight up? Just the straight up mild. Let me get a dip here. That's really good. That wow. is really really good. Yeah, it's got a lot of good flavor. Damn. In there. All right. To me, the original and, mild. You ready for this? Yeah. Fresh carrots, onions, vinegar, red habanero pepper, lime juice, salt, and garlic. Wow. I can taste the carrot. Yeah. I, I was very straight when about. you. To me, these are good because they're so. It's not when you hear hot sauce, you mm, almost have a flavor. You almost have a flavor in your mind. Yeah, yeah. these are different. Yeah, it's, it's this like is that, so that, much more than just. You hot think sauce. about that real vinegary. Yeah, you and you can see the sauce. coloring. I mean, yeah. obviously, the coloring is going to give some of it but away. These there. are so different than just the average hot sauce to me, flavor wise. I'm getting a very familiar flavor with that. Oh, that's so good. Really good. Hmm. So the next one's the original hot. It ranks number nine out of 20 on the heat scale. Okay. The original hot here. Well, the original hot has red habanero pepper, carrots, water, vinegar, onion, salt, lime juice, and garlic. So probably just a little bit extra habanero yeah. pepper. A little more kick for you. They taste like, um, <clears throat> almost like there's some Caribbean flavor to these. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Really, though, the flavor just knocks it out. God, I'm getting nervous, man. Oh, uh, oh. You should be for the end. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's excited. not getting easier. I'm no. excited and nervous. Get a little more kick on that. A little more kick. 
That one's gonna make you break a sweat a little. Mm hmm. There she is. <laughs> Did you hear him? There she is. There she is. There she is. I think Marie Sharp is in here. I think I'm seeing her. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that one. Might, right. that's good. That might set you down. That's a little. the first sauce that gave me the sweat. Yeah, yeah I got that under the eye above yeah, the cheek. I can. Yeah, I can actually feel my sinuses now doing that yeah. thing where they're clear starting enough. to clear. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel things getting loose in there. I like it. Uh, all right, so the next one we've got with the fiery hot, the original fiery. This ranks <laughs> number seven. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Embarrassing. He's oh, psyching himself I'm up. So folks. He's psyching himself up. Red habanero, carrots, vinegar, onion, salt, lime, juice, garlic, and water. So the same thing as the other ones, just I'm more guessing habanero. More, yeah. While you're pouring this one. Um, Shout out to Miss Marie of Marie Sharps, inducted into the Hot Sauce Hall of Fame, like you're mentioning. But March, also um, International Women's Month. Oh, okay. And Marie yeah. Sharp celebrating. I mean, she's been making her signature habanero based hot sauces and jams in the Stan Creek District of Belize. Now it's the 40th anniversary of her operation. Let me tell you this <laughs> I can smell. I, I pour uh, the other ones I've poured. And I have not been able to smell them. This one I can smell from this far away. <laughs> he smelled it and looked and be like, oh. Well, because I'm, I'm worried about you. Yeah. He's already turning red. Let's do it, man. Let's get it. Quick, get. <laughs> this is where we watch BB just fall out. His last words will be, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. There right. we go. Oops, sorry. It's going to be hot. I know that. Yeah. But again. There's it's not flavor. hot for the sake of being hot. No, there's still flavor with it. No, now, that'll sit, this that's, one that's I'm starting gonna, to see seeds in. That's gonna sit you. That's gonna sit you back. I mean, it's gonna. I haven't seen the seeds in any yeah. of these yet. Smell that one. You can smell. Yeah. That one. That one hits you. That one hits you. But it's good. Gosh, that's good. <sighs> Yeah, this, man. the combination of these flavors, man, is yeah. just next to none. It's crazy. Wow. Fiery. You know? I, I, it's hot. It's hot. <clears throat> but it's not unbearable. It's not hot, yeah. I've had... I just had more. It's, it's, it's hot, 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 hot. I've had hotter things. It's hot, hot. We might not say that but after they, this they next one. They didn't taste that good, though. <laughs> the now, right. that's the important part. Exactly. I've had hot things that are hotter. But they didn't taste. They didn't taste good. well that because good. there's lots of hot sauces that just try to be hot. Now that's the thing: is the flavor's not there. Here's what we're gonna do for this last one: we're gonna get rid of all the information. Okay. We're gonna hunker down. Hunker down, baby. Because this right here is a brand new sauce. It's so new that when we got the bottle, it's taped with the label on it. It was not labeled. The label was not created yet. Uh uh It is now because it released on March first was the release date of the Red Hornet sauce. Extra fiery. It's new. There are no more than 36 bottles of this in existence. And here's one. It has a beautiful red heart drawn on top of it. For us. Loved you. Yeah, I loved you. <laughs> loved you. Best of luck. So here's the deal. It's Marie's hottest sauce ever. The Foothills of the Maya Mountains, where meandering rivers Reach flow your own cup for this. through the dense jungles of Belize is the home to Marie Sharp's family farm. They are the freshest fruits and vegetables from the foundation of Marie's famous recipes and the world's number one habanero pepper sauce. The Red Hornet is derived from the notorious Trinidad Scorpion Pepper <laughs> and packs Marie Sharp's most potent sting. Ooh. You asked for hotter, here it is. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, oh, it's got the rubber thing. Be careful. Maybe that's important. Did you want I'm not going to touch this. You want a paper towel? Whoa! Let me see. Let's let's all do that first. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Woo! Goo! <laughs> Goo. You, wanna just, you just want to... Sandler? Wanna, instead of putting in a cup, just want to dabble. I might just dab yeah. on the, the yeah. paper towel here. I was going to say dab it on your fry. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a thick boy. Get it on the fries. Here we go. I need more. I mean, okay. I mean we got, well, we got to try it. We got to taste it. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to be like real careful. Woo! Here. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> wow. Still has that good flavor, but... <laughs> now, listen. The way I understand it as far as making hot sauces like this with habanero peppers and oh, things like it that... it makes you sweat. I'm, I can feel sweat is, coming. It takes several years to get, like, a good yield of crop, basically. So, like, this pepper sauce took seven years from the time they decided we're going to make this to make enough harvest, replant, make enough harvest, replant seven years in order to get the red hornet. And we are extremely lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. To I'll have a you, bottle and try this. I don't think I've ever been devoted to anything for seven years. That's going to make you sweat. I mean, it is. I can feel it coming. Whew. It's a slow build. It, it, it comes. And I'll tell you this much, too. It's one of those that after you have it, you can feel it move down. You feel it moving down your system. Yeah. I, like, I don't want to shut my mouth. Because I'm afraid if I don't, I can let the heat escape. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My sinuses are, are opening up. Whew. Oh, it just gave me the chills. Man. But it's, I'll tell you, again, oh, it yeah. tastes yeah. good, though. <clears throat> I don't want to stop because it tastes good. I want to stop. But the heat. You know the good thing is you're at home, dude. <laughs> you gotta drive home. <laughs> <laughs> I planned this all along. I'm gonna drive home with my face out the window. I feel the coming. I, I feel the coming. I feel like I need I need to keep doing. I feel like I want to really do justice to it, so people got, aren't like. I got plenty on that last one. Man. Ooh, I got a lot on that one. So, but I'll tell you this: the flavor is really there. good. The flavor is what's good. The fact that you've gone back for thirds, the flavor is killer. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna stop mm. on the way home for some milk. That one, that one hit my throat. It's hot. It's hot. I, I feel it in my gums. Yeah, I'm telling you, you feel it as it moves down. Yeah. Mm. Woo! I feel alive, boys. I feel alive. <laughs> yeah. That's something. That's oh something. man. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> that is. That's definitely the hottest sauce I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Marie Sharp, she ain't no joke. She, uh -huh. She's about it, about it. Mm -hmm. Well, she's doing business. She's killing it. Mm. Yeah. Y'all walk around. He's getting up. He's got to get. He's got to get up. He's, he just he's, went to your freezer. He's forgot we were even filming. He's in your freezer. I ain't got no ice cream or What's nothing. What's in the freezer? Ice. Ice. He's just getting ice. <laughs> He's just got a cube of ice. He's just got ice. So we'll close this out so I can do the same thing. Ooh. I feel like... Ooh. I help. Uh, want one? The help? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me one. Man. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling... I'm good. I'm invigorated by this. No. I like it. Thank you to Marie Sharps for this. <laughs> he can't even talk. It is making my tongue go numb. Mm -hmm. That's my what tongue's so, my tongue's so tongue. tingly. I got a numb tongue. I, it, well, all the heat is from here. You know what it is? It's because it's just sitting there. Yeah. All the heat is on my tongue. So, mm -hmm. like, just setting the ice cube on my tongue. <sighs> oh, man. Well, Marie Sharps, thank you. You outdid yourself on this one. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, though, again, hot, yes, but flavor overall yeah. on all these. <laughs> marvelous yeah. so go out there order some marie sharps give us the code again there numb tongue <laughs> foodies 10 foodies 10 J or you can just follow the link that is posted below our video right there there we go uh we as always are going to give away a marco's pizza um let's do if you share the facebook video share the facebook yeah. video okay cool i like share that the facebook share video. the facebook video there we go uh, thank you, as always, for tuning in. And, of course, you can hear us on every podcasting platform as well. Don't forget that. That's right. We are the Big Foodies. We will see you next Friday, hopefully.